welcome to a new day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and a marriage is just beyond the horizon. Is there news, you ask? Let me think. Nope. Why? Because Annie and Ryan are doing so great that there is no news to speak of. The wedding is a week away, Annie's dress has been steamed and pressed, the string quartet is ready to go, and the French cheeses are en route. Everything is going perfectly to the letter. Why? Because I am Emma Woodhouse, and this is what I do. Okay, even I will admit the events leading up to the Weston Taylor nuptials weren't perfect, but the takeaway here is that even when others have their doubts, as long as you stay strong and stick to your beliefs, things will all work out in the end. Believe in yourself and be rewarded. It's like clockwork. Oh, and look what Annie sent over. And how did you know they weren't from me? Please, like you would ever get a girl flowers. I could get a girl flowers. Okay, practice now. <clears throat> oh my, I never expected this. Thank you, thank you all so much. Well, aren't you disgustingly adorable? Ooh, there's a card. To Emma, thank you for everything, and I mean everything. Love, Annie. How sweet of her. So now that this wedding is just about wrapped up, what's next? Or specifically, who is next? Well, someone's in a hurry. You know Annie and Ryan aren't actually married yet. It's never too early to start looking. Do you have a new client? Because if so, I'm not aware of one. Well, Mr. Knightley, there are so many people who need help. But the real question is, who needs my help? And by that, you mean who deserves my pity? Exactly. What? Nothing. Well, I'll leave you to find your next victim. I mean, client. Don't strain yourself, Emma. Snarky Knightley does have a point. Who's next? Who out there is lucky enough for me to make their life better? Annie and Ryan were inspiring, dramatic, they were practically perfect. So who will inspire me just as much as I inspire them? Someone intriguing that others may overlook. And a challenge would be nice. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. No need to apologize, come in. Um, actually, I do need to apologize. Something terrible's happened, and it's all my fault. What happened? This happened. Oh, no! I am so, so sorry, Emma. The dry cleaner said it got caught in the machine, and it ripped. I'll work overtime to pay for it. I'll- Harriet, wait. How is this your fault? I chose the dry cleaners. It had the best reviews online. Stop. Look at me. Oh, no. Are you going to fire me? Goodness, no! Just listen. Part of being an adult is knowing when to take the blame for something and when not to. So I'm not in trouble? Have more faith in yourself. Where's your confidence? I don't know. Just fake it. How do you fake it? It starts with the shoes. My shoes? Exactly. When you're wearing five-inch heels, you can't help but be confident. Really? Here, try mine. Okay, now stand, walk around. How do you feel? A little strange. That's the confidence, embrace it. Okay. Seize it and learn to project it. It starts from the outside and works its way in. Um, okay. Not, um, okay, hell yes. Hell yes. Yes, but with more confidence now, really feel it. Uh, hell yes. One more time, shout it from the rooftops. Hell yes. Now go back to your desk and write the worst review those cleaners have ever seen. We're gonna take those cleaners to the cleaners. That's right. That felt good. Is everything okay? I heard yelling. Snarky Knightley, I have found our new client. Already? That's great. Who? Wait, where are your shoes? 